<laughs> They're still right in front of me. There's like six big ones. Ooh, he already sees it. They're coming up. Oh my god. Oh, another big one's coming up. Yep. Net cool. Oh. 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 What is up, Mephers? Hard to put into words how I'm feeling right now. Just launched the boat. Um, I'm anxious, I'm excited, I'm nervous, and uh, mostly I just want to catch something giant. If you guys are following along, I know this is a story that has been told many times before by many different platforms and many different people. Last year, me and Zark and Coleslaw made a trip down to Texas during the most intense, crazy winter storm that has ever hit Texas. And after this cold front, and during this cold front, it created some of the best fishing that anybody has ever had. Joe caught a 16.4 pound bass, biggest bass that's been caught in Texas in 20 years. I caught a measly two 12 pounders. We had a 60 pound limit. It was absolutely unbelievable. And now it is finally time for winter in Texas. We've had a couple cold fronts. It's starting to get to the point where we can get out on some of these bodies of water that have absolute monster fish in them and start chasing some of these big fish around. Might be a total bust, we never know with fishing, but we're gonna get out, we're gonna shoot that forward facing sonar around, and we're gonna try to catch, honestly, the biggest fish that's ever been caught in Texas and potentially the world record. We're out at a lake that we've never been to before. Unfortunately, we're not gonna say probably any of the lakes that we're gonna be hitting this winter unless it's a, a giant one that everyone knows about or something. Last year, they created the biggest craze with thousands of boats going to this lake that we caught the fish at. Um, and, and so we don't really want to do that and blow up more fisheries this year. So we're at a new lake, never been here before, heard good things. I'm excited to get it done. Let's see if we can do it. Well, Cole, we've seen some mongoloids so far this morning. We haven't been able to make them commit, but it should get better. It's too slick right now. Little Chuck, baby swimmer, we're on the board. Skunks out, Cole, now we'll catch them. Little guy. Maybe. This is much smaller than the one that I just lost, I swear, Dad. All right guys, so this is what we're fishing right here. So this lake's kind of like a lot of these Texas lakes that has some of this submerged flooded brush on the bottom. I'll kind of pan around, but a lot of these fish will get suspended in the top of it. So now we're just kind of trying to figure out, will they eat an A-rig? Do they want a little single swimmer? Do they want a jerk bait? We have no idea. All we've had is follows so far, and that could just be the bite window. It could be a negative feeding period because we just had a cold front come through. It's bluebird skies, east wind, but that's what we're looking at down there. And I'm really trying to scope around and find some of these bigger marks. I don't know if they're going to be in this. And a lot of times they'll get over there off the edge of it, the deeper edge too. So we're just going to kind of move around here and uh, see what we see. But so far, pretty sporadic. I need to work it faster since the uh, water's so clean. You don't want them to get a look at it. They're firing up to it and stopping, you know. Here we go. Not big. Small. I didn't know these were even in here. Tiny. <laughs> Small. I had the biggest fish I've seen today come like eight feet off the bush and nose right on my jerk bait and the, like came up to it good i thought she was gonna get it they're not quite ready but they will be Whew. just saw him and he's 40 feet behind my damn jerkins ah oh, there's two two big mother his attention already here he comes get it now it's a better one it's 
not giant though. All right, kind of figuring out this jerk bait is the way to go today. It's the only thing that's really making them go. A lot of followers on everything else. Look at this beautiful clean water bass. I'm using that new Six Sense Provoke DD. Hell yeah, first decent one of the day. Not a mongoloid like the lives in here. Think. Got that DD. I waited it actually a little bit too. We got the Provoke Slow Sink now which I might have to tie on a different rod or something so I can have the one-two punch, but. This little four pounder. Got a little bit of lead wire on that front hook of the Provoke, so it's sinking probably a foot every two or three seconds. I don't want it to sink super fast usually. Not a giant, pretty fish. He saw it from like 20 feet down too. swim baiters say that the biggest fish in the lake will eat when it's like calm and sunny in the middle of the day. Why don't you eat it? Here we go. That's a better one there. Not that good though. Probably the smallest fish I've caught on this thing in a while. <laughs> he was real excited about that little bait going over his head. And he is real small. Freaking seven inch swim bait. Kid Mikkel crushed it. Glad he didn't miss it. I was like, ah, oh, they're biting it and not getting it somehow, and they're huge. And there's a whale on your boat. Got that net ready. Great. Good. Grand. Wonderful. I'm about to see what these hooks are made of. Come on, Mr. 15 Maker, mistake for me. These guys are hauling dicks. Hauling. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> They're still right in front of me. There's like six big ones. Ooh, he already sees it. They're coming up. Oh my god. Oh, another big one's coming up. Yep. Isn't that cool? Oh my god. Cole's throwing the net in the lake. I might just be a baby, but there was like seven or eight of these out here in this group. I feel his tail hitting, so I think he's giant, dude. I can't move him. Fucking jerkbait hanging over. Got him out in no man's land. Flip that jerkbait in the boat. There he is. Ready? Smally. That might be the world record. Here's the large one. Oh. Oh. oh, oh, oh. That's your PB, dude. <laughs> <laughs> dude. 
Dude, there was so many that size. Put that net down, coleslaw. Oh my God, dude, how many of those fish were this size? Oh my goodness. I'm gonna hold this fish up in a second. Yeah, There's a tin here. Just died, so, um, Dude, there were so many in that group right there. <laughs> you going? Yes, sir. I think I just got the biggest bass of my life. Look at this fucking fish. Oh my, there was like eight of them in the school this size. How big is that fish? Look how fat he is, Cole. Is that my biggest ever? Look how big its head is. Dude, I know. It's got like Respucia eyes too. <laughs> oh my God. It's pooping, weigh it. Oh my God, dude. Is it really? A little bit. Oh. This fish is insane. Of course, I'm out here with my unfriendly scale. That might be a damn share lunker though. You ain't kidding. That is an absolutely unbelievable fish. Look at that thing. Oh, yes. Is it ready? Oh, yeah, bud. Okay. Twelve oh six, Cole. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, look at its belly. Oh it, it my god! It has like god. no tail. <laughs> well, my my biggest ever was right at twelve pounds. So I mean, I'm gonna wear again. Zero that out and wear again. I'm shaking right now, Cole. <laughs> Look at that thing's belly. Resetter. Just bounce it so much. It's like 12 4, dude. <sighs> Which means it's honestly it might be a share lunker on the share lunker scale. Oh, What's up? Get her in the live wheel. Get some pictures with her. Yep. Oh my God. All right, so we gotta explain to you guys what's going on right now. So we were at this lake and it was tough all morning. We saw fish like that one. I think I've seen a lot of fish bigger than that one all morning out here on the screen on Panoptics. And the lake's just been slick, calm, flat. Had a little bit of wind, but it's, it's east wind post front. A big front went through. And so we're hoping the cold front will get them going. It's done the opposite. So we actually bounced to another lake a little bit ago, like an hour away. Staying schooling fish all over the place. Did get one on the A rig and we thought it was gonna go a little bit. Did never happen. So we're like, screw it. If we get back, we got an hour and a half, two hours to fish before dark where we started at. Oh, I'm freaking out right now. That fish is so big. It's honestly potentially close to 13 pounds as a share lunker. The biggest I got it to weigh on my scale was right at 12.4. <laughs> And that's the fattest bass I think I've ever caught for sure. And we just threw in the live well for a second because we want to get some pictures of it before we release, release it. Um, but even if it was a share lunker, like I said, I don't know if I told you guys this, but I'm not going to turn any in this year because I don't want to blow these lakes out like what happened last year with that lake and had thousands of boats there to the point where the fishing pressure is almost destroyed it. Obviously I want the free replica and the notoriety and everything that goes with the Share Lunker program, but it's more important to me to have these fisheries to be good for a very long time since I live down here now. But unbelievable fish and I think we can get some more. So I'm gonna stop talking for a little bit. Guys, check this out. I just noticed out off this main drop off here, we have schools. They kind of look like bass, but they're actually big bait fish. We, we've kind of seen some of these schools when we went up shallower. Um, there's some crappie, but I think these are actually shiners or carp or little white bass or something that are actually cruising up and down this flat. So that makes total sense why that fish was in that area. As I pan around, you can see there's schools all over the place down on the bottom those bass are pretty unmistakable though like eight fish midway through the water column that's what we're gonna look some for some more here there's got to be more out there dude you should have seen that happen 
second I saw the school, I threw past them and they were moving towards me so fast I couldn't catch up. So I reeled it faster, like five feet below the surface. They're like 20 feet down and one went and it was like chasing it. And then that one went and I was like, ooh, that one looks big. Thing is like, I don't think this is like even a good bait to throw right now. They're just, they get so competitive in those wolf packs over it. Always. I mean, chances the biggest one out of eight or 10 of them right there got it. Not great. Maybe, I mean, I guess the biggest fish in the group might be the best eater. I don't know. Second biggest bass I've ever seen in my life, Cole. Not in a tank. I haven't seen many in a tank like that either, though. Oh, dude, she's biting so hard. Oh my god, look at this fish. Absolute freak. Not even that long of a fish, but look how she been eaten up. And that's what she did. She ate up. Let's take some quick measurements, quick pictures, and we're going to get this biggest bass of my life back in the lake so someone else can catch her. Hopefully cool. Quick measurement. That is a 25 and 3 quarter inch fish. Well, this fish is an absolute freak. We've been reviving her for a little bit. I'm gonna push us off this little tree right here, but we're gonna get her back in the water now. Like I said, not gonna go get her weighed or certified or anything. We could probably get the Cheryl Unker program to come out to this lake out here um, within a couple hours. But like I said, we don't wanna get the lake blown out and two million people out here. So hopefully this is just the first of many to come. I was so excited when I started this video, so anxious to have an opportunity to fish like this. The craziest thing was we had an opportunity at a bunch of fish this size. I can tell how big they are on Panoptics a lot of times. So that makes me so excited because we have a couple more days to fish this lake and a couple others like it. So she's about ready to go, I think. We're gonna flip her over, get her ready. Look how wide that fish is, Cole. Yeah, she's ready to kick. <laughs> oh my God, dude. Give me some, Cole. Yes. Well, another cool thing before we go in for the night is, I told you guys about this rod series we're coming out with from Sixth Sense that's gonna be like a super refined, 100% made in the USA series of rods. And this is one of those rods I just caught it on. So I got my PB on this rod obviously handled it very, very well. This rod's really slow in action. So it bent all the way through the rod. I never had any doubt that we're gonna lose this fish out in the open. Absolutely epic. This one is a 710, uh, it's called a medium heavy. I think a lot of people would call it a heavy. Sweet spot is right in that probably two or three ounce range, two to four ounce range, I would say. And it can do a little bit less and a little bit more than that too. I've thrown the draw on it, but yes. Let's go eat some steaks. Today was pretty badass. It was super tough, which is how I like it, especially when you're rewarded there at the end with that mongoloid. What a freak. Biggest bass of my life. Right now it's actually the next morning and I'm prepping to go out again. By far the best bait yesterday and I think it was 100% because it was post front, sunny, bluebird, was a jerk bait. And so I only have two colors, I only have two total besides my old ones of the Provoke DD, the new one that just came out. Got a bunch of the six cents office waiting for me, but we weren't able to get those before we made the trek on this little trip. So I'm gonna throw some crank wraps on and see if that helps them seal the deal when they would just follow a nose up to it. Because like I told you guys, you can don't have choose to believe me if you want to. I had some as big as the one I caught or bigger or maybe a little smaller, nose up. So come up to it really close, nose up to this bait and just not pull the trigger. And maybe they wouldn't with this on there either, but I like to have everything in my favor as possible. So hopefully the next video you guys see will be from today and we'll be using this Provoke to uh, catch some giants. I'm excited, thank you for watching this one. If you guys like these type of videos, let us know. Um, I'm gonna try to provide a little more context in this video I shoot today about how we're catching these fish and hopefully show you guys some on the paint optic screen what they're looking like because what's happening right now is unprecedented for what's ever happened before. And uh, I don't know, it, it might never happen again. So 
This technology has allowed us to target these fish in a different way. I keep saying that. And if you want some of the technology, I'll link the best place, the cheapest place to get it right down below. So, catch you guys in the next one. We're out of here. Peace.